Chapter 4, 8.23 p.m. We gotta go see what is with the, the bang that we heard? Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. <gasps> Wait. Oh. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby. Hmm? It looks like some piece of trash shot up her. <laughs> it looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of the garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I. Sorry, can't allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. So she, she did get shot? And he really is just walking away from the situation. The way his nose curves up. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now, let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. <gasps> her second death of the night, actually. Okay, so we have to save her a second time? I thought we were going to do something with the superintendent. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. I'm afraid I'm not the miracle worker. Only thing I can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Curse the aim of the one who shot her? Damn. Lynn, how could I let this happen to you? Alright, so we're here in the Super's office, and let's see what we can trick out in these parts. Okay, so you want to s There's another latch up there, maybe? Notebooks to examine, a s lamp to swivel, and we can definitely go finally talk to Lin. <gasps> oh my god. The amount of area to cover is kind of insane. Alright, let's uh see if we can... F first examine the book or the book or the note what's up with this blind and pink notebook somebody stuck it in behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up hmm interesting what's the importance of you <gasps> it's happening unconscious this time as well huh Oh. Where am I? She's coming too? What happened to me? Excuse me? Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. <gasps> dead? So, I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Lin, huh? That's a pretty cute name. And apparently, you're a detective too. A detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know? You Take another look, you're the dead one. Oh, uh, uh, right, of course. It'd be pretty hein heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There, now this is more like it. She's so cute, I love her. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have done something to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? 
Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Ooh, about Lin's death. So I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shocks is settling in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About the ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back in four minutes before a person's death. Did I actually only have one chance to ask that question? I was hoping I could ask her both about me and about her. And I just honestly, I just didn't want to seem like who selfish off the bat. <laughs> but I have to find out the truth about me. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? The music stop. Mm, yeah, I think I do remember something like that happening vaguely. Y yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. I guess that means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Horrifying. <laughs> That's horrifying. So, I died twice already tonight? I wish I knew what to say to her. I guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. It looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Oh, nice, okay. Now I'm looking for the answer to the question, who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name's Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, something's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> so we're two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? Y you're kidding me. Y you mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here, but why? And that's what I was gonna ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Mmm... Lynn... I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask you. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still gonna ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I can't just die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe it might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve that case in spite of all of that. 
Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargain chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Wow, I was not expecting it to play out like that. Truly, she was just like, absolutely not. I will do nothing for you. I owe you nothing. And yet he's still going to save her. And he's still just going to let her, you know, do what your newly found life, what she will. I'm like, that's still a lot of faith. Like, you know, he's thinking in the back of his head. She's going to save me. But you don't know that. <laughs> All right, we got the four minutes. These are stressful, and I'm very afraid. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't, and that's when I knew I could trust her. Oh, uh, okay. I was gonna say, you can't lie to a ghost, though, because, you know, he can literally haunt things, and she doesn't want to deal with that, you know? I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. <gasps> oh, the pink notebook is hers. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? <laughs> One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like he would have been here in, like, 20 seconds if it wasn't for the dancing, but, you know. Evening, patrol man. Good evening, Inspector Campanella, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a little favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fella. Yes, sir. So, does he see anything outside, I wonder? Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lin is in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Maybe you shouldn't. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never, baby. Oh, well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see, but it, it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases the station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. I'm just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? I, I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! <laughs> okay, so he's actually jumping in front of this. It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? No, I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. Be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Hmm? 
What do you mean? Literally, they stood in one place. What are we changing out here? Okay. We have the soul. We have a step ladder that we can move. I don't know if anything downstairs is going to be related to the four minutes. And I feel like we can't really do anything unless we just like start experimenting, right? That's how this goes. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so the man's coming in. It looks like that's a book on the ceiling. Which I thought it was just gonna be another latch. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so he. This is the point he orders something. Okay, so let's see what this says. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone too. <gasps> I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out? As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Hmm. What happens if I move this? <gasps> uh oh. Hmm, now we're further on this side. But I wonder if we need to grab the phone at a certain time? I'm thinking. Because I feel like the phone would be tied up by him, maybe when I actually need it. I can hear from here. I better get closer. They ought to be here to stand guard over this rookie detective, Lynn. And now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful. It's criminal. <laughs> Boo. Okay, there was another dialogue, so I kind of want to see what that says before we move on. Say, did you hear what the officer just said? Yeah, strange taste that fellow has! <laughs> His taste is perfectly normal! Hmm, but anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. The order to telephone outside if I did anything suspicious? Telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, the state of affairs might change. Hmm. That's funny. What's the matter? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the phone line grows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal! Okay, that's a good point. Okay. We learned that from the last round. I totally forgot, actually. So, it looks like we need to get Lynn to look suspicious. Let's see. So, there's a microscope over here or photos. Let's try examining the photos first. These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? Ugh. Why'd you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? <laughs> huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary, ordinary people like us don't have to know what that is. I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. <laughs> I mean, my foreman's aren't even close to being done. Victor Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. He's already in here. 
So he's not gonna make she's not he's not gonna make the phone call though, because he's gonna leave. Ooh, so did I miss my window now? Do I miss my window, therefore the bullet comes through this one? This window here? Okay, so there's a top secret assignment. How much further can we go? We can only go really left and right and... Go over here so we can hear what Cabanel has to say. Let's see this. I think it's just a normal dialogue. She's never met the guy. So I guess there's gotta be something downstairs in the basement that we're needing to mess with. So this is a ball. The guy's just standing there in the dark. Hmm. There's like a pulley system or something. Yeah, so there's no movement available from these parts. Maybe we need to knock over the notebook? Oh, you won't let me swivel? <gasps> She's gonna die. Oh no, I got nothing for y'all. What's that? Is it? Hmm. Okay, I gotta see if there's any like clues or hints they give me. Oh my god, I feel like there's nothing here. Apparently, the hitman fired from outside the junkyard. Probably the best thing to do is go out there and stop him directly. But in the past, I can't just use the telephone lines whenever I want. Hmm, I'm guessing the only way is to get somebody to call the junkyard. Okay, so yeah, if I miss the window of looking suspicious, that's where the fate change will happen. So we gotta do that first. And restart if we miss, if he, if that cop leaves. Alright, so what can I do? can I do something about the soul? No, right? I didn't think so. I feel like the window or the lamp has gotta be the suspicious thing. Ooh, how did I get over there before? Oh, she has to put the notebook down, and then I think I can jump over. Because all they did with the microscope in the picture was just examine it and make a comment. I mean, we can jump over to the chicken place, it seems. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that, personally. Oh! Hello! Chicken kitchen! You want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of your fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to go for fun, but I don't know what it's going to do for me. Let's go see. I'm curious. <laughs> Although, I don't know if I can get back once I'm over here. Be so real. Hello! Oh, where would you like that delivered? The young cup? This music is so cute. <gasps> oh my god! Professional! La la la, what does it matter? A chicken order or two lost? If it were three orders, that would be a different story though. La la la. <laughs> this music is so fun. We got a telephone book. We got a menu board. We can ring a bell. 
know other than that we're stuck here. But we can't dial anything because we're still in the four minutes, right? <laughs> Poor Lynn, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see a chicken restaurant. I guess we'll have to start over. <laughs> so true. What if I bring the bell though? I missed that guy. We just popped over here while we had the chance without much thought. But this isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Clearly. We probably ought to hurry back. <laughs> you didn't have much thought about it. I thought about this very thoroughly, actually. Everybody hearing this? Oh no, the bell's not in work. Okay. So truly just a crapshoot over here. I need to reset it again. <laughs> Alright, we'll let her put the book up. I wish I could see down here. Or like see what I could possess further out. I mean, it's very nice of him to order the chicken dinner. I hope he's not the one that shoots the bullet. <laughs> I'd be so sad. What was that? Oh, that's still her soul. Oh no, I didn't mean to do this again. Okay, so stay here. I'm just trying to get into the lamp. So maybe if we shine a light on this, um, this book, he'll read it. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. The place we need maybe now is outside the junkyard where the hitman is. And the only way we need to get there is to use the telephone lines. Okay. Lamp time. That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Ooh, who are you talking to? <gasps> oh! What's up? I've been watching Lin to just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So, suspect her Kavanala was right? She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, huh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Hmm, let me see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Hmm, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let you- don't let on that you notice anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman is who's after me too. Okay, so go there. So it's probably just going to be like another Jigo T Tengo type of guy, right? I don't think it's either of these investigators. I'm waiting for you. Ugh, what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa? Oh. Just call me Ray. <laughs> grandpa Ray? You just had to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it on, on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very...
very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. <gasps> Ooh, are you going to take me for a ride? Carry on, boys. <laughs> this guy. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really being on the idea of getting shot again. No, why not? You should God always gonna be open to new experiences, you know? Oh wait, I thought Ray told me to hop in. Okay, so he <laughs> I thought he was gonna be a little more helpful, but that's okay. We can just keep climbing up. Uh if I remember correctly, we gotta turn this on. Do we need to go up this way for any reason? I don't think so. <gasps> oh, we're racing him! Oh my god, that's stressful. Well, we made it! Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman! He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him, fast. I love that you can see Cabanella like mid-dance move. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm gonna make a good and sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinded. Oh god, time is passing. Okay, so turn off the searchlight. Hmm, interesting. Can't really go many places from here. <gasps> maybe I need to go. Maybe I do need to go up the other way then. Oh, but I can't go back down. So I. Hmm. I don't know if Cabanel has anything on him that I can, like, jump into. Oh, the bike! Oh my gosh, this is so horrifying! Okay, so we're all the way over here now. <gasps> I see my target! Time to go to work! I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month now for sure. There he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is Tango. Or his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting. Fast. How do you know that's Tango versus Django is my question also. I think one has glasses and the other one doesn't. I don't know. Okay, so do we blind him maybe? There. We put a stop to that shot at least. We did it! So I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. A Dow blocking a shot here and there is really gonna stop him. If you wanna be rough him if you wanna rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Well, let's think of something else before he gets this shot in. Ooh, fate changed, but there's still gonna be a lot more. But how do I know where he's at? Okay, let's maybe pedal this and see what happens. Oh! You know, I said I wanted to know what happens, and now I know. Looks like I can hitch a ride with a cop now. I think he's patrolling, maybe? I want that position. I have to be careful, even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for next for this year. Next year, my model will be: if I want to be the director, I have to be careful of even the little bit of scandal. Sounds like he won't show up in spots where light is on. 
And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. Wee woo wee woo. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, did you turn on that flashing light? It wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy, we ought to be free to do it at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Hmm, can't use all your searchlights at the same time. What do you do? Huh? Nothing happens. That's funny. I thought this lever was swinging the crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. So that one's gonna turn off now. Interesting. Oh, look at that! One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. So, just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to paddle my bike in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. Looks like they're taking things way too far. Hmm. So should I keep that one pedaled? I didn't think that was an option. Okay, but that searchlight is still on. You gotta go hitch a ride with maybe this one? Is he gonna show up again? Like, will you show- Oh, shit, he's right there. Oh my god, I gotta stop him! How much time do I have before he shoots? I'm scared. Get out of here. Okay, so you said that this is, needs to be pedaled. What is this dialogue, though? Look! One of the lights went out! Okay, so this is the same... We're gonna do this. There's a crane, they said. Another bike. I can't move it. this one, though. It's so scary because they don't tell me when... Oh, he's back up! Okay, okay, okay. I feel like there's something I should do to keep the lights on permanently so he goes away. I don't know if I'm just supposed to get him to stop continuously. Or what? But I guess that's what we'll do for now. And I feel like really I should use the sirens and not the searchlight because only one can be on it at a time. <gasps> oh no, hurry, 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 run cop! They're terrible at patrolling. Okay, so we'll leave this one on. And we'll try just using the siren on the next one. Hmm. Hurry! How do y'all not see this man with a gun right there? Hey, I told you to lay off that thing! And I told you it wasn't me! I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know. What? Hey, shut up. You're creeping me out. But you know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is Inspector Cabanella. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, huh? I, but Inspector Cabanella is a really nice person. I don't know, he's kind of sketchy to me. <gasps> I can't see what's going on over here, but he's not going to show up. This light is on. Unless there's somewhere else that he can pop up at. That I haven't seen? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> what if I have too many times for this? Okay. Now what? 
I'm gonna hang on right here just in case. But I think we're good. Right? No way, no way, no way, no way. Ooh. The time has already passed. You can't do this. Why is it still moving? No way. <gasps> I do have to have the lights on. I can't just curve him the entire time. Even if we block his shot, that only buys us a little more time. It doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with evil is to crush it completely. This lady detective is just a little excessive. Guess I better rewind the clock again to see if I can pick up any other clues. I... I cannot believe I just went the four minutes going back and forth. Trying to hinder this man. So really he's not going to sh try shooting at all until time is actually up. So we should be okay. That did not occur to me that that might be the case. So we must need to go all the way to... The left. And figure out what's a, what my options are over there. Hmm. I mean, he really wants that promotion. I get it. I get it. Okay, promise me you won't shoot, okay? Yeah, you just you just adjust things. Oh, I have to get him to come over here. Oh, I thought he was patrolling too. Okay. So let's hitch a ride with this cop. <laughs> I really can't believe I was just flashing lights the entire time. All right, so what do we got? Uh, guitar, crossing gate, and an umbrella. I think we just need to raise this. Oop, bye! Open container. Lower this? <gasps> Nothing to see here, Sonny. Wow, such power and speed. I bet that would put a nice stop to my horrible hitman. <gasps> if it just stopped him, that would be fine. But if it killed him, would I be obligated to save him? Anyway, let's just focus on the stopping part. Apparently thinking about things too deeply isn't something you like to do. Just the right amount, and that's the way the detectives like to think about things. Come on, let's do this thing. Oh, I just love stamping out evil. It makes me feel so alive. Except for the fact that you're dead. <laughs> okay, so do I need to bring him over here instead then? I want to be able to see what's going on over there, but we can hook this. Container. Umbrella. What happens if I open it? What do you mean? Okay. Did I just f get myself st stuck here? Oh. Oh. There's no way. I need something down here, right? I can't close the umbrella back up. I think I might be SOL. We can go back down. Bag. Ray. There's me. A door. I can't call anything because we're still in the four minutes. Yeah, I guess just opening that gets you stuck? That's messed up, y'all. <laughs> That's so messed up. Okay, I think what I actually want to do is turn this one off. Wait, uh, I want him to show up. No, I do want this one on. He said there are three searchlights, so if I turn off the other one...
he'll show up. I am I about, I think I'm gonna squish him, right? <laughs> I mean I wanted to drop that music box on his head. So we're just prolonging the violence. Delaying the violence? I guess we're delaying the violence. Hmm. So is he gonna walk back though if I go this way with him? He said the lever doesn't do anything. Confused. He's parking over there. Okay, now he's he is moving. That's good. So now we have this. These two are on. You have no choice but to go over to this spot. I haven't seen him go over there yet. Ooh, okay, there you go. Oh, I, I'm actually gonna crush this man. Mm, this is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind. A shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division has seems to be like a dark, like dark gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him. Hold up. When did I become her assistant? Oh, where am I? No, turn around. I cannot believe he just walked past this man. Straight up a gun. Pointed at this building. Terrible, terrible cops. Okay, so we don't want the umbrella. Umbrella, screw me over. Ooh, what's this? Musings of a Hitman, part one. When I fire a bullet, I put my head, heart and soul into it. The bullet is my soul. The shot is the expression of my soul. And that's why I never waste bullets. Besides, I have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense, and accounting never likes that. What the heck is he- is this idiot blathering about? Hey, don't get mad at me! We have to stop this guy. Hmm, so the umbrella, I guess, is just a stepping point? Alright, down she goes! Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like you? If I could do things like you do, I could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. It's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight, I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead? Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is it. Goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. <laughs> okay, I got it. I, I was kidding. Well, I guess I better be getting back to the present. Ooh, so how is that going to play out now that she's alive? Cabanella going to keep... Wait, what? Lena's escaped death for a second time. But that doesn't mean she's out of the water just yet. I better go see how she's doing. Where's the man? <laughs> His body is just gone! Oh. Oh. So I do want the umbrella. It's just not there to completely hurt my feelings. Hmm. Roll? I didn't think there was anything over here. Oh, maybe I can get the lamp if I'm right above it? 
Just kidding, I can't stop that. Ooh, wait, how do I get back? Can't close the umbrella. We can turn, oh, like that, okay. through here. Oh, uh, Ray, a little help. Oh, everyone's gone. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any fur further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the Super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to the Super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, Super's office. Okay. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn's alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? I mean, it's, it's gotta be. I feel like, why wouldn't that be the case? They were literally on their way to meet each other. He had something suspicious. So I wonder what Cecil is. Cecil is. Because, like, what if he's actually a bad guy? What if he is involved with whatever Lynn is investigating and Cecil's, like, trying to come clean? We would truly never know because he has no memory. But that would be kind of spicy. Like, we have very little information, so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next chapter and see what happens with Lynn's story next time.